I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. I am your host, Shibby2142. This will be a video for the newer players on Team Fortress 2. I'll include some other little tips that may be helpful to you and maybe you already know them. So here we go, let's get started. Since I'm a PC player, I'll show you my Steam settings. Maybe you already have all this set up, maybe you don't. So I'll just start with the basics and we'll go from there. So in your Steam settings, this is the Friends tab, as you uh, see there. Profile name should be 2142, I have my avatar, display timestamps and chat log, I find that to be helpful. And I unclick the play a sound when I receive a message, it's just really annoying, at least for me. So maybe you're the same way. For interface, I think the only setting that I unclicked here was run Steam when my computer starts, I don't want that. And then you want to click display Steam URL address when you're at your profile. It's really helpful when you're looking for uh, your Steam ID and whatnot. And then for uh, the set taskbar, I just have all those checked, so also I find that helpful. For in-game options, I have my Steam overlay or my Steam community in-game set to F8, so I didn't really like the alt tab or whatever they had. For downloads, I always set it for as fast as possible, so cable fiber. And then for download region, this is important, I live in Minneapolis, so I set it there, but you want to set it to the closest place where you live and that'll help with your download speed, so definitely a good little tip to use. So if you're in Italy or Spain or whatever, make sure you have it set up right. And then Steam Cloud, those should all be checked already by default. And then just hit OK, and that's pretty much it. So this is my Steam library. Here is Team Fortress 2. You want to right-click that, go down to Properties. I know it's not on the screen, but it's there. So here we are, Team Fortress 2 Properties. Go to your set launch options and type in there minus with the minus sign, no vid, and hit OK. You don't need minus no border, that's just something I use because I play Team Fortress 2 in a window at full screen so I can alt tab easier. But this way you won't have that silly intro every time you boot up the game. This is the Team Fortress 2 main page when you boot up the game. And I'll show you my options and all that good stuff, so hopefully this will also help you out. Right away you want to go to advanced and click both those, make sure they're both checked and hit OK for weapon fast switch and console. My mouse settings, really nothing special here. Audio, I have a 5.1 system, so that's the option I selected, I don't really play with headphones, I'm not that hardcore. For video options, I run the game in a window, like I said, at full screen. You can also take a look at the advanced options. These are the settings that I run with the field of view slider all the way to the right, which I suggest. And especially if you have a multi-core, you want to enable that. So that's also a very important piece. And for voice, that's my voice settings. So nothing really special there. And for the multiplayer tab, I have uh, the crosshair I like and my spray uploaded. You want to go to the advanced tab there, and here is where you can play the hit sound when you damage an enemy, the display damage, I get the question all the time, Shibby, how do you see damage when you do it to an enemy? There you go, that option right there, and there's also a bunch of other options. I'm going to uncheck the sniper rifle resume when you shoot, kind of annoying, so I'm going to turn that one off. And then I also use the minimal HUD when I'm running stock, and just other little settings I'm running here. Let's see here, change this location, maybe I'll try bottom center, see what that does. But yeah, as you see here, these are just my settings, so feel free to copy. If you uh, have not a very good PC, you want to disable weather effects, that's definitely a, a good one to do. And that's pretty much it for the advanced options. So hit OK, and when you change an option, always hit Apply, kind of common sense, but there you go. And then hit OK on that. And there's also the Advanced Options tab right there where my mouse is. So there you go. Something that happened in an update, they added this, but yeah, they're all here. If you need a little more explanation or an easier way to get to it, there it is. Next, if 
you need to talk to new users, there's a new user forum. You'll have to register. This is on the Steam forums. It's an okay place. Some people are helpful, some people are really mean. But right here, there's how to play videos, a newbie's guide to settings, crafting, frequently asked questions, all this good stuff. So definitely a good place if you're really new and you want to talk to other people that are also new or you want some help. Good place to go. So that was just at the bottom of the Team Fortress 2 menu taskbar dealie at the main page and then new user forum. So we'll return to the main page here. There's also achievements. It's a good way to get some uh, weapons. So I'll go to a, a class here. Let's see what I select. I believe I pick spy. Little drop down menu here. Shows you progress on your achievements, which is cool. Since I've completed 22 of these spy achievements, I already have all the achievement weapons. But for a new user, you probably don't have many, if any, completed. And the milestone achievements are the ones when you get weapons. So starts off with five achievements, then 11, then 17 to get milestone three. That'll uh, get you weapons. Not many, but a few. So each class has this, I believe. This will be the demo man page. And same requirements typically for number of achievements to get the weapon, but obviously the, the actual achievements such as a sticky bomb or whatever will be different. There's also be a coach or request a coach, all that stuff, which I'll show you later in the video. First, we'll do training though. They have basic training or offline practice. We'll do basic training first since we are new to the game. And we will do soldier because we have not completed any of the other tutorials yet. So I'll fast forward joining this training module. Here we go, we're on our way to target. There's a little uh, practice introduction movie target daily. And it'll uh, kind of give you the rundown on what you should be expecting. So it's pretty self-explanatory, this is really not that difficult, but for someone who is new to the game, there might be something you didn't know, or just a small tip that'll really help you out. Use lulls to completely reload your weapons. Pretty good one right there. So the movie's over, so we'll hit continue, which is flashing. And this is kind of the welcome to the soldier tutorial. I would suggest starting a soldier or possibly pyro when first starting this game. Those are the most straightforward classes. And I'll fast forward here to the actual target practice. You can see the build up to this in the top left, we're just kind of teaching how to move and whatnot, so that's not really important. But anyways, this will teach you to melee and use a shotgun at medium range, use your rocket launcher at longer range, and uh, teach you some splash damage and all that kind of stuff. So, once again, if you are completely new to the game, this would be helpful, such as, oh, there is splash damage on the rocket launcher, alright. There's also... The shotgun, which is not splash damage, that's called a hit scan, because you actually have to hit the target for it to do damage. Instead of, you can't shoot next to him and the pellets bounce off the ground and hit him magically, it's not really how it works. So yes, once again, this is fairly simple, but it may be helpful. It teaches you to melee, like I said before, targeting two enemies at once, and then you get to shoot some bots, help you uh, work on hitting targets while they move. So you can get as fancy as you want. And I tried to leave this little shooting area here, but it didn't work. And then you've completed training, there you go. So you can feel free to move on to the next training module, which I believe is Demo Man. But we'll just hit Done here, brings us back to the main menu. And then it'll ask you to play a tutorial, and these will be offline, so it'll be on a a server, I guess, quote unquote, but not really. So we'll do that, why not? Once again, this is a video for new players and hopefully before jumping online and getting angry and all that good stuff, we will teach you how to be decent. So we'll do King of the Hill right away. We'll play on easy because we are a new player. 
and hit start practice. I'll fast forward this loading screen a little bit. Go into Viaduct, King of the Hill, which means there's one capture point, usually in the middle of the map, and your team has to capture that and hold it for three minutes. So these are my soldier weapons from the Uber update, so you will not have these right away, so don't worry about it. And basically it's you and however many bots you selected, so it's not bad practice. Sometimes it's actually pretty decent practice because the bots don't really move very well like a human would. They're kind of like unorthodox at times. Lastly, once you go online, you can request a coach. So I requested my friend Ninja, so I have Coach Ninja right now. And basically he spectates me and he can show me where to go. He can say move here, defend here, look here, attack here, that kind of stuff. And it's actually not bad. It's kind of amusing. And uh, as this video is coming to an end, once again, I am Shibby2142. I hope if you are new, as in very new to this game, some of this stuff was helpful. For you pros out there, you've probably stopped watching by now, which is expected and that is fine. Please check out my channel, Shibby2142. I have plenty of Team Fortress 2 videos if you're seeing this somewhere else online. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. And I'm out. Thank you for watching. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out.